Hello, this project is about bone tumor detection and classification using deep learning network. Here, these are the materials we are providing with the project, the demo video, and the full document that is a final uh, fair copy of the final report. And the instruction uh, it gives a uh, how to execute the project. And uh, these are the source code of the project. And this will be the Z the zero three V document. Here it is the base paper for uh, our bone tumor detection and classification in deep learning using image processing in MATLAB. Bone tumor will be the uh, disease that caused by the uh, stressful accidents or some uh, injuries that may be, or uh, it uh, will be the uh, internal process that will create a bone tumor. And uh, the early detection and uh, treatment will uh, save the life of the patient. So the early detection is important. Here we are going to uh, detect the bone tumor by the classification method in uh, deep learning. The first step is to the collect the data set. Uh, here uh, we are collecting the data set from the internet with the uh, classes of mild, moderate, severe and normal. Uh, whether uh, the person is uh, maybe affected or uh, not affected by the cancer and uh, the severity level of the cancer also we can uh, classify. This is the basic block diagram of the model, the view overview of the project. First, we are uh, giving the training data, data set to the training uh, process. Uh, in the training process, there will be some pre-processing and feature extracting steps. After feature extraction, the uh, data will be sent to the convolutional neural network. It has uh, some layers and process the data to uh, give a prediction model. The prediction model is used for classification of the uh, results. Now we are going to test, uh, take the tested image data set. These test images can be the patient's uh, bone images or uh, our, our uh, uh, data from the internet. This uh, test image will be pre-processed. The pre-processing steps uh, involved a uh, grayscale conversion and uh, image filtering process and also adaptive histogram equalization process also applied uh, for the contrast enhancement. After that, the segmentation process, the feature extraction process will be applied for extracting the features. Then finally, the convolutional neural network uh, is uh, used with a prediction, prediction model for classify the result. The result will be uh, the moderate or severe or mild or the person is in normal state uh, having not a uh, tumor. So uh, we can see the implementation. First of all, we uh, have to train the model. The tra after the training is completion, uh, we are going to test the model. I have already trained uh, so. Now we are going to test our model. This is the simple GUI for our project. You can create it using a guide option in the MATLAB. First we are going to select the input image. The image will be selected and the pre-processing steps will be applied. First the grayscale conversion is applied on the image. Then we are going to apply some noise on the image. Uh, that makes the filtering process easier and uh, removes all noise uh, present in the actual image. Now we are going to apply the filter process. After filtering, the adaptive histogram equalization is applied. It is used for contrast enhancement of the image. We can see the contrast enhanced image. Uh, the next process will be segmentation and classification. Uh, the segmentation will be segment the image based on uh, some uh, clusters we are providing to the input. Here we can see the segmented image 
after that the classification the classification result is the segmented image is affected by mild bone cancer that means the person is affected by mild bone cancer we can treat them accordingly